morning everybody it is Monday and uh, Monday morning the uh, 6th of uh, February and today I thought we'll I'd just quickly do a market update because there's been some interesting price action in the Nasdaq over the past week that uh, warrants some closer attention so if we're going to start with uh, using the trading expert pro software and we click on the market charts there for that then we get the um, first going to revisit the Dow Jones and see what's the situation here our data is updated here now from a big picture perspective we've had a tremendous good rally back here from display in this market it broke past key resistance area 12,300 then kept on maintain its upward momentum we're now quite a fair distance away from both the 20, 50 day and the 21 day moving averages so we could see the market pull back over the next couple of days at least um, to retrace some of this move now if we look at this low here at 1776 and we look we're just touching 12,800 which incidentally is equivalent to this resistance here uh, August uh, of last year so we've, we've taken that resistance level out which is a positive the volume trend is slightly down overall but we've got some above average volume buying here which is very encouraging to see so yes we have a couple of very strong up days on good volume but technically we could see the market to retrace this level so we could see it come back to test the 1255 or 12,400 level this cluster of resistance here that's now acting as support going forward we could see the market testing that we are going into February which is generally a very weak month and as we've had now a good January rally we could see a pullback in February back down to support if we go look at weekly chart we can see consistently higher price action here we've now just testing this 12,800 resistance area of 2011 so uh, we struggling uh, to get past that on big volume on a weekly basis so I'm thinking that maybe in February we could see the market pull back and on a weekly chart basis 12,300 12,500 that appears to be the level that the February low can get to so 12, be on the lookout for 12,300 as a key area so if you want to trade the spiders here sorry the, the Dow Jones um, index here you can buy the uh, puts here 12,800 and then close out your position as the market gets closer to 12,300 but from a weekly chart perspective yes we've had a strong rally the volume is quite light and that's what we worried about on a daily chart basis right in terms of the expert rating we've not yet seen it fire the last buy signal was given here in December the market rallied from there pretty nice return because the next day you'd have been in the market at 12,160 and we now 12,800 so you have made a good couple of hundred points on the market uh, in terms of uh, the trading expert pro expert ratings now what we're waiting for is we don't have a sell rating yet so this trend could maintain upward momentum but I don't think we're gonna have it going up consistently like that we should see a bit of a but, uh, technical retracement and from a Fibonacci level point of view if you look at this low yeah 12,800 if you can roughly estimate what's 50% and you look at a 40% retracement so I think we'll see 12,500 pretty soon over the next couple of weeks so looking at Dow Jones put options around the 12,800 and close out those positions when we get to 12,350 12,400 okay if I look at the S&P 500 yeah I've got too many uh, lines on here from previous presentation but we can see overall broke past that key resistance of 1331 we at uh, 1345 uh, 1365 happens to be an upside point in the figure price target so we're pretty close to price targets to the upside and we could see a pullback in the market now the daily chart is particularly interesting here because we've had one two three four five up days without a technical retracement five up weeks actually but without a technical retracement so we could see this market pull back retest the 1300 level because there's this cluster of uh, previous resistance here that should act as support now but we could see the market come back and retest 1300 1300 level pretty easily so if we now can look at what's been happening on the um, sector rotation 
side of things there. Scroll down, run the report, look at the market log report. We've actually had a turnaround in the back MACD. That's actually become decidedly bearish. So we could see a bit of a technical retracement. So if you're a MACD follower, a MACD trader, now would be the time to look at this market pulling back a little bit. So the MACD is not looking too positive. And if we go back to the Dow Jones and we pop a MACD on, we can see it actually had a sell signal right here in this price action here. We've had a sell signal in the market there. Okay, so be aware that we could see a technical retracement. The market log report is decidedly bearish on the MACD, so we're kind of uh, a bit cautious at uh, new entry points in this. In, in this, uh, what's been happening on the sector rotation? We've seen overall foods have become decidedly negative. Household products that's also negative, somewhat in services that's negative. Semiconductors still maintaining a positive uh, situation there in terms of st trend strength bullishness. Trend scores in 98. Other sectors with a very strong upside uh, trend is pharmaceuticals. That's got a trend score of 99. And for those of you who don't follow this particular software, the trend score, the higher the trend score, the stronger the trend. So we're generally interested in something at 85 and above in terms of uh, trend score. Financials, funny enough, also uh, still in a strong uptrend. Consumers, computers, all these still have fairly good strong trends. If we drill back into, I just want to go into the semiconductor one and see what's the situation there. Double click on semiconductor. We can see a yeah, very strong uptrend. Broke past this resistance here yeah, and a double bottom base, but be aware that the MACD is somewhat stalling here, yeah, so we could see a bit of a technical retracement here. Yeah. From a weekly trading perspective, we've had one, two, three, four, five consecutive up weeks. So we could see a retracement. The market's getting close to a retracement in the semiconductor space. You might look at the ETFs here in the semi space and look at some put options there as the market should come back and pull back to the 20-day moving average at 6,400. Okay, so the, it could come back to retest this breakout. After the breakout, there's always the risk of a retest uh, in, in the market. So if we look at the particular so if we look at the other sectors that's looking interesting here, uh, pharmaceuticals, yeah, very strong uptrend. That started in December. As the market followed through and started a new rally, note the MACD as giving somewhat of a, a, a trouble here. So we could see the market pulling back here a little bit, but we are a little bit worried that the market could come back and retest this 21-day moving average. We've not yet seen an expert rating sell signal, however. Oh, there we go. I'm speaking of correction. We've had a sell signal and an expert rating around about yeah, so two days ago. We've had that sell signal, so maybe it's time to look at the pharmaceuticals and biotech sector to buy short-dated puts, because that could come back and retest the 3,550 area uh, level there. So technically, we've had an expert rating. Expert ratings tend to be a bit early. If you want to see which rules fired, uh, you can just click on expert rating. You see there's three basic rules that were predominantly in the uh, expert ratings influence here. The equity price reached a new six months high, which is not confirmed by an equivalent high on balance volume. This is bearish, and a reversal indicates that price could turn shortly and start downward movement. So both we have an on balance volume issue here, but we have a MACD that's looking like it's crossing to the downside. Let's revisit the um, the sector rotation. I just want to see the semiconductor one again and track down and see if we can get if there's been an expert rating sell signal on that. There's the semiconductor one. We go. No, so actually, yeah, in this case, we've actually had a sell signal down here, so this market's gone way past. Was that a confirmed sell signal? No, because the phase indicator has gone up, so that's not a confirmed sell signal. So we're still waiting for sell signal in the expert rating in the semiconductor space. But from a short-term trading perspective, I would look at uh, put options in this, in these ETFs. Not a, probably not a bad idea. 
Okay. Let's close it. Right, so that's the uh, sector rotation uh, situations. For those of you that's looking for some, of uh, course we expect the market to be seasonally weak, we could look at uh, stocks with relative strength or um, let's go to the weekly stock reports, accumulations, persistence of money flows to the downside. Unfortunately, not much to sell yet or short yet because the prices are so low, so that's um, not good. We can then go and look at the weekly report, stock reports, and we're going to look at the price and volume divergence, negative divergence, see if there's anything there looking interesting. Once again, lots of small stocks, but yeah, we've got um, Lincoln National Corp, which has got a $23 price. Let's go and see what the uh, chart looks like. So here we go, we add this 21 day. So it broke out of this base and it could come back and reach the uh, breakout price here. The only thing we need to check here is what is the um, MACD looking like. That's struggling to advance, so we've still got the stock moving higher. MACD is to the downside, so we could see uh, the stock move lower a little bit. Volume not particularly strong, but strong selling volume, so there's a bit of an overhang here in terms of uh, a possible sell in these stocks. But for those of you that, that do have the software, go through this list of stocks here. Price volume divergence report where we have negative divergence between the price and the volume, and this is a weekly report which you can run uh, this coming, you, know, you can run it today basically because it will update with last week's data. A couple of interesting names here to look at, uh, MWI Vet Supply, Royal Caribbean Cruises, interesting RCL with um, all the problems in the shipping industry right now. You can just get this uh, chart to show Royal Caribbean Cruises. Yeah, we can see big selling, uh, big buying volume came through late in the week. If I look at the weekly chart, wedging higher, bounced off. Uh, this stock actually still needs to technically break out of this whole uh, base. It did break out from that resistance point. The next one will be $36, $31.36 for it to break past on big volume. Once again, the MACD is not looking too good. On balance volume is still struggling a little bit, so we're moving sideways as well on on balance volume basis. So not exactly uh, any fireworks here. How's the stock doing relative to the S&P? Slightly starting to underperform. So we can see the stock price here is lagging. It did very, very well, yeah, but relative to S&P, it's we're starting to look at a bit of a lagging stock, yeah, so uh, could look at put options for the quarter as uh, less as people still struggling to deal with uh, with the shipping disasters, etc. So these are some of the stocks to watch out for, but I would highlight it as a good report to go and look for some trading ideas would be in the price volumes divergence report, run the weekly report and go through some of these names um, looking for stocks that's extended or looking for stocks where the price is moving higher and the volume is, look, uh, is moving lower and that would make some ideal short-term trading candidates in terms of put options. Yeah, we've got Pete's Coffee, MACD is, is, is kind of sideways but actually diverging lower on balance volume, also diverging lower and the price, uh, price is kind of wedging in a triangular pattern here. Yeah. Quite a big spike here at 67, if we go look at the daily chart, broke out of this triangular pattern here, but the volume hasn't followed through, so we struggle to see that the stock will maintain momentum. So maybe Pete's Coffee would be an excellent candidate to be buying a put option on. Just check. Uh... Yeah, interesting, if you can click on expert rating, you see the high equity price has reached a new six months high which is not confirmed by an equivalent high in on balance volume. This is bearish and this uh, indicates that the prices could turn down shortly and start down the movement. Okay. Right. Right, so that's a wrap in terms of just big picture market view. I just wanted to highlight some price action in terms of the S&P and the Dow Jones. Um, 
we have, uh, let me just get back to my menu here. Trying to load a new chart, yeah. Uh, let's uh, have the right ticker again. So if we just look at the NASDAQ triple Q, as a closing remark here, we could see a technical retracement. We've got, uh, if you, ca you, you basically, when it's, you know, seven to nine up days or consecutive up days in a row, could see a reversal. So if we count from, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but technically that one actually resets your count. So you need to start from the one, two, three, four, five uh, up days, consecutive up day, up weeks, actually. So we could see a reversal for one or two weeks. And, it, and in this case, it's going to come back and retest the $58 uh, or $60 breakout here out of this trading range. So be on the lookout. Volume is very light here. So maybe time to look at a put option on the triple Q, the NASDAQ 100 or the NASDAQ index itself. We've had a pretty strong rally here. We are dis uh, quite far away from the moving averages. So we could come back and retest this previous resistance area, yeah. So that's the only thing that I'm worried about is we could come back and retest this uh, this area. Uh, if I could get my drawing thing correct. Yeah. There we go, trend line. So that's the $58, $60. We could come back and retest that pretty quickly because we're going in a seasonal week period. Volume is not good. Volume has actually been trending down as the market's been moving higher. On balance volume, still struggling to break out. Stock's broken out. And how's it done relative to the S&P? Very strong performance relative to the S&P. So on a relative basis versus the S&P, pretty strong. But we are still worried that the volume here is a little bit light. Lots of nibbling above average volume lately, but relative to where we come from in the past, uh, pretty uh, pretty light in volume. So we could see that the market could snap back for a couple of days and now would be a good time to be buying put options on the triple Q. That's basically owning put options in the NASDAQ 100. The expert rating here, the price phase indicator is moving to the downside. This is bearish continuation signal showing that a downtrend is in place and that prices are more likely to continue to the downside than they are to reverse and begin an upward movement. Okay, so that's a wrap for in terms of uh, the overall market. Be on the lookout. The NASDAQ was the kind of the big thing because it's, it's, it's uh, reached a new 11 year, uh, year new highs. But I would like to point out we've had so many consecutive up weeks and I am concerned that we could see a snapback to come and back retest this key resistance area which should act as support. Volume is a little bit on the light side. Okay. For those of you still interested in the um, options coaching program we're launching over the next three months, there is still some seats available. If you go to the tradingprism.com, click coaching programs, options coaching, and I think that's next Saturday we're kicking off with a three-month training course. Well worth, uh, it'll be well worth uh, your while attending that. We're going to go through trading the, op the options market pretty aggressively. And yeah, that's on the February the 11th. Um, we're doing a first really highly specialized, highly focused options training course uh, in London. But back to the market, watch out for the triple Q or the NASDAQ composite. We can see a pullback in this market this coming week. Thanks for your time.